Hi there, my most amazing artist. Today I'm going to show you how to create a landscape using a ruler, a pencil, and a Sharpie marker. So the first thing you're going to do is write your name in the corner of your paper, because you can never be a famous artist if you don't put your name on your paper. And then you're going to flip your paper over to the other side. The first line you're going to draw on your paper is called the horizon line, and that divides the sky from the ground. So you want to make your horizon line in the middle or up towards the top of your paper. <clears throat> I'm going to move it up just a little bit. And I'm going to use my Sharpie marker to draw my lines today, so I have to be very thoughtful about how I make my lines. Even if they're not perfect, that's great because that shows that I was really thinking. So I'm going to make a horizon line here. So now this divides the paper into two spaces. The bottom part of the space is going to be the middle ground and the top part is going to be the background. So anything that sits on top of that line or goes up to the top of the paper will be the background. That's the farthest thing away from the viewer of the artwork. Um, the part down at the bottom is going to be the middle ground where it is like in the middle of the space. Um, for the background, we are going to be drawing a farm. So we want to make a, a barn, some trees, um, some things that might be on a barn or in a farm. So I'm just going to make the basic shapes of these um, objects. And I want to make them kind of small because I want them to look far away. So there's my barn. And then I'm just going to color it in with my Sharpie. This is going to create a silhouette, like it's just the shape of the farm and it's far away. I'm not gonna worry about the details that are in the, far, the barn right now. I'm just gonna color it in. Stick out a little bit. And then along with the barn, I could put a silo next to it. A silo is like a building that holds grain. And I'm gonna color that in too. On top of the barn, you could put that, um, the little thing that tells you which direction the wind is going. A weather vane, that's what it's called. I couldn't think of the word. And then you could also put some trees. You can make trees that are really far away. So you're just making things that would be on the farm above that line. I'm going to work on that some more later. And I have some silhouettes printed out for you so that you can see it. The next thing you're going to do, and this is where you're going to use your ruler again, is you're going to make a field in that middle ground space. <clears throat> so you're going to find a place on the horizon line, and you're going to make a little mark. So I think I think I want to direct the viewer's eye back to the farm, so I'm going to put my mark right there. Okay, see how there's a line right there. Now I'm going to make lines connecting that dot that's called the vanishing point to the bottom of the paper to make it look like there are fields, like rows of crops. And I kind of want to leave some space because I'm going to color them in. I don't want to leave, make big rows. So this will be a row of crops going back to the farm. And then I'm going to leave a space where we can walk through, where the farmer can walk. So that one's a little bit skinnier. I'm going to put one on this side too. Sometimes you have to use the bottom and the top of your ruler to make sure that you can see what you're doing. So this is a walkway, this is a walkway, and this would be the plants. So the plant rows are a little bit thicker than the other rows. <clears throat> this gives the illusion that the rows are going off to the same point. They don't really, it just kind of um, makes the viewer's eye look that way as well. So this will be a big plant row then a walkway, plant row, walkway, plant row. Oh, I'm, my marker's getting all over. That's okay. I can cover it up. We're going to use some oil pastels to color this in later, so don't worry about it. All right. So I think that looks pretty good. Oh, I need another plant row. Well, no, I think that's okay. So after I finish all of my lines going back into that vanishing point, I'm going to finish the 
objects that are in the background. I could put trees. I could put a tractor. I could put um, some other things that are back there. And I just want to make some objects that would be on a farm. So think of any visits you have taken to a farm. I know that um, way back in kindergarten, you guys went to a farm, but you might not remember. <clears throat> so I put some images of objects on your table so that you can use those as well. After this, we're gonna add some color, so just leave it as it is, and I will show you in the next video how to add some color.